organization. And a week later, went blind in his left eye. Yeah. Uh, they can't wait to give it to boys. May cause convulsions, grand mal seizures, deafness, circulatory collapse, blood problems, leading to unexplained bruising or bleeding, fainting or brief loss of consciousness, chronic fatigue syndrome, foaming at the mouth, blindness, and death. Gardasil. There you go. And they want to now mandate that in Rhode Island. Um, they actually are trying to put that on, and you can only get out of it without a, with a religious exemption. And I'm going to play a bit of a video uh, of, of a parent confronting the health director in Rhode Island. You're asking people to fill out a form, say they're not religious, to lie in religious exemption. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're asking people to fill out a form, say they're not religious, to lie in religious exemption. Okay? So they can be exempt, so they have a child exempt. Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's at the root of all our problems. It's time to stop submitting to this tyranny. It's time to realize that we're being enslaved. Some of these same vo voices also do their best to gum up the works. They'll warn that tyranny is always lurking just around the corner. Tyranny with a capital T. You should reject these voices. Everything that's been done with torture, rendition, the NDAA, the Patriot Acts 1 and 2, from day one was focused on the American people, period. That's it. It's always been about erasing the Bill of Rights and Constitution and rolling out NSA spying publicly, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, rolling out torture, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, but it's really for the general public, rolling out total control and the end of any underground free market systems in the name of fighting Al-Qaeda, but really shutting down any type of free commerce. This is all about converting us from a free society to a tyranny with a capital T. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. Clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different 
different cleansing products. We use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing the first proprietary oxygen-based intestinal cleanser, Oxy Powder, backed by real FDA-approved phase one, two, and three clinical trials. People are suffering from all kinds of digestive issues these days. All the toxins from the air, the food, the water, ultimately ends up in the gut or affects the gut. My main focus was to come up with a remedy for this, something that's safe and effective that anyone can take on a regular basis to keep their intestinal lining clean. My recommendation is to clean your intestines at least two to three times a week to prevent the toxic buildup from going into your bloodstream. Take your health into your own hands and start cleansing your body today with Oxy Powder. Secure your Oxy Powder today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. This is going to be the, the next big question for all these presidential candidates, how they feel about mandatory vaccines. It's time to get back in their face. They're trying to bully us into medical tyranny. I wanted to um, take issue with you anti-vaxxers, right-wingers, rednecks. It's about Big Brother, uh, but on the other hand, some things do require some involvement of Big Brother. What gives you the right to tell me that I should get a shot, that my children should be shot? I don't think there's anything extraordinary about resorting to freedom. Hillary Clinton took to Twitter to voice her support for vaccinations. The science is clear. The earth is round, the sky is blue, and vaccines work. Let's protect all our kids. I can't swallow and I spot on my tongue. And I just want to tell anybody out there, if you get a shot, you're a fool. Meanwhile, the insert says it can make you get measles. Understand that? We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. But I think the parents should have some input. The state doesn't okay. own your children. Parents own the children, and it is an issue of freedom. But the 10% can't go to school unless they get vaccinated. The science of vaccines, which work effectively, 100% of the time, and the white oh, race... Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, you haven't read the CDC memo, have you? It was 99% last week. Now they're telling people it's 97%. So it's not 100% even by their own statistics. Meanwhile, the outbreak was caused by vaccinated people! Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. And what you saw Alex Jones doing right there, getting loud, getting in people's faces, that's what we need to do. But we also need to be respectful of that. And I'm going to show you the right way to do it later on in the show. First, let's go back to your calls. Joseph in Michigan, what is your vaccine story? Hey, and thanks for having me on. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting notified about this last minute. Um, calling about uh, vaccine-injured children? Sure, yeah. My sister, Lauren. 31 years old, 1984, she was four months old. She got her first DTP shot. About half hour, 45 minutes later, she went into a 15-minute long grand mal seizure. My sister has cerebral palsy, epilepsy, and autism from the DTP shot. 
that started me being a conspiracy theorist 31 years ago. I've had a long time to study and do a lot of research. I, I researched the ethyl mercury and how it bonds to the membrane on the mitochondrial DNA and how it permeates and saturates and gets inside of that membrane to permeate the cell and then switches to a methyl mercury, which is like 10 times more toxic, and it starts confusing the caspase 3, 7, and 10, which are your biological time clock for your RNA DNA transfer, and it confuses everything about your development. Mm-hmm. And when the aluminum, aluminum hydroxide attaches to the red blood cell and, and coats it to the point where it cannot transfer ATP's energy anymore, and also the same thing with the, uh, the DNA transfer, it cripples the child immediately. And in, in, in going, going through the research and doing all these links with the uh, polysorbate 80 and the MSGs and the formaldehydes and what they do to the immuno, uh, immune immune system, the SIDS that they've been talking bullshit now for these last, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little, a little elevated. We'll bleep that but out. They've, they, they, um, they've been denying it. They said back in the 80s, oh, flip your child over onto their belly because if they're, or onto their back because if they're on their belly, they're suffocating, you know. Right. But that was when they started putting the ethyl mercury into the vaccine. And the children that were dying of SIDS, they knew why then, and they know why now. SIDS now is at its highest rate in history. And so is but the vaccine schedule. Have... What, what a coincidence. The vaccine schedule is the highest in history. SIDS is highest in history. We have the worst infant mortality in the developed world, you know. All they did was they changed the ICD code so that they don't use SIDS anymore. Right. They put uh, lack of respiratory, uh, stop breathing, uh, other they don't say SIDS anymore. So SIDS, you know, supposedly has gone down, but it's actually, it's worse. But when I looked at it, when the ethyl mercury gets in there and it starts confusing the caspase 3, 7, and 10, those trigger a cellular apoptosis that goes after neuronal cells and immune cells. And when the neuronal cells that, that are under attack from the apoptosis that is, uh, that is naturally supposed to occur, occur in, our, in our bodies... Um, when they're involuntary motor neurons, the respiratory and cardiovascular systems fail. I've done some extensive research into toxemia and preeclampsia. And preeclampsia is, is when the fetus now is becoming uh, toxic. And the mother and the fetus both know that there is an issue when the blood is toxic because the, the, the child, the fetus's kidneys and liver are not developed. Right. So the mother is responsible for the cleaning of the blood, correct? So and when the mother gets vaccinated, now the mother's blood has become toxic. The toxic blood goes to the fetus. The fetus is under attack now. So the, the mother knows that there's an issue now with toxic blood going to the fetus. So there are so many preemies because of this, because the mother will shed the child in order to save it from further exposure of toxins from her own blood. Mm-hmm. But the preeclampsia and the toxemia, uh, they kill so many children because of the blood is so uh, tainted with so many toxins that are metallic neurotoxins that the, there's no way that a, a brand new baby's kidneys and liver can start to function right away. And then they put the hep B in right, right, right. away. Second day, they so, want to give them so the hep add, B. Yeah. Right, right away. So they want to add insult to injury right on the kidneys and liver, bang, right away. And then on top of that, when they do a... Uh, early clamping, when they clamp off the umbilical cord too soon, mm-hmm. imagine this. The, the, the lungs now are full of uh, amniotic fluid, right, in, in the, in the, when they're in the womb. So they're not, they're not breathing. They have no oxygen saturation in their lungs. So they clamp off the umbilical cord. The child's not even developed oxygen in the lungs yet. So now the brain is starved from oxygen because you've just cut off the blood flow from the mother to the, inf- the, to the, to the fetus, the infant's brain. And you're spanking the child, trying to get it to breathe. And so it's it takes a little bit before the oxygen will actually saturate in the lungs and get into the blood. So now you've just starved the, the brain for oxygen that way, also. On top of the blood being coated with toxins that don't allow the transfer of oxygen, anyways. So preeclampsia yeah. and toxemia right now kill so much. But and I, I want to get out. Uh, hopefully, before I, I lose you, that. I started this 
research when my sister first got injured, and people tried to deny me back then. And I, I, I hate losing an argument if I don't have enough facts. So mm-hmm. that is why I research all the way to the molecular level. Right. So that when somebody rebuts 